Oh, this is a lovely maple of some kind. I'm not sure whether it's a De Shoujo uh, or a Benichidori. It could even be a Katsura. Until it comes into leaf, I cannot tell the precise variety, but it's certainly a very nice tree. And most people would, I say, give their right arm for this tree because it's in reasonable shape. At first glance, it is nice and dense, got lots of ramification. But if you want to have a better tree, I'm not saying you, if you want a perfectionist tree, then we will need to uh, look at it very critically. So if I can do a little critique of this tree, first of all, the good points. It's got lots of ramification, a nice dome shape, and some nice mature branches, and lots of movement on the tree. Unfortunately, there are some bad points as well. These young branches here, these have grown over the years and they don't really belong to part of the original design of the tree and they detract from the tree. So these branches really should be removed. You could have used it as sacrificial, but without them, the tree would look much grander and more powerful. The contrast between these branches and these branches is too strong. There's too much contrast. So that detracts from the tree. There are one or two crossing branches, like this one, for instance. That is clearly a, a fault. I'm going to take it off. There's no question about taking that off. So aside from these low ones, this one I wouldn't mind letting them grow. And then generally thinning the tree. These have just been trimmed on the tips, but they have become bigger and bigger. And if you're not careful, this part can take over the entire tree. I haven't looked at the tree from this side because you should always look at the tree from different sides to see whether you have missed a trick or not, whether this could be a possible front. But looking at it from this side, I don't think this is such a nice front. Also, I think this tree has been grown against a wall or a fence. So this seems to have been the back portion and that is the front portion and hence the back is a bit weak. So that is the fall on this part. So this is clearly the front of the tree. Okay, so this is where we've got to. So it only needs a little bit of trimming. I've got the owner here, but before I do it, I'm going to ask his permission. And when he gives me the permission, I will then proceed to do what I feel needs to do. We've taken the owner's permission, so these are coming off. No harm in taking those off because while they were growing, it has helped the trunk to thicken a little more. So they have served as sacrificial branches. I will just bring my branch cutter and clean up the cuts. And then I will proceed to do the superstructure. This in fact reminds me of our split trunk maple because it's got this major trunk coming from this side. So maples don't always have to have like a single trunk. So this could have that split trunk or double trunk image which is very nice. really a splendid tree. So over here this is two, there's, there's some crossing branches. If we come close we will see that this is crossing over there. So this should be taken out. Some of these are too strong. So this should come out and this should also come out. If they're not taken out they become dominant and you could get another trunk growing. Some of these are very dominant. We'll take out the dominant ones. Also very dominant. I always keep looking back to see how it fares. In fact, all that is too dominant. All these thick shoots can come off. 
otherwise they'll take over the tree and the tree will become very messy. The trimming has been very well done. By constantly trimming the ends, you get good ramification. So this is what has happened. That's all. You see how much thinner it is? It's now in keeping with the rest of the tree. Even some of these, and they become too dominant, I take some of those dominant shoots out. Now that back one also is getting a bit dominant. And then over here there are is this one and this one. This is becoming too dominant. So let's take the thicker one out and keep the thinner one. So that is the new leader. Now that one at the back, you see, where you get a thick one, that's becoming dominant, so we have to take that one out. So it's keeping control of the tree all the time. Aside from that, there are no major faults. So, if you ask me for my frank opinion, I would give 7 out of 10 on the street. <laughs> Which is very good for trimming. And because this tree was repotted on the a couple of years ago, it certainly doesn't need it. So, if it doesn't need it, we leave it well alone. Yeah, I'm sure it's last year. Yeah, I would leave it well alone. So, there you are, another splendid tree. We will now look at a more difficult maple. So, this is the other maple. This is clearly a mountain maple, just a straight Asa palmetto. Um, again, very, very healthy. And the pot is relatively small, and it just shows how vigorous aces can be. You don't have to put them in great big pots, you know, it's growing so strongly in this small pot, but it's a bit pot part, so it's time it had a repot. And if I take it out of the pot, we can move the wires, you can see how tight the roots are. Very, very tight. So I would reckon this hasn't been done for about five years or more. So it's badly in need of repotting. So we will repot that, but I think I will see what needs pruning. This has just been grown in like an informal shape. Uh, so many possibilities for this tree. If we just home in to this tree, although this has been used as the front, you have a close look at the trunk. You take it from a bit lower down, you can see. The, the trunk from okay. now I'll turn the tree around because there are many possibilities if we look at the tree this way look at that beautiful line here if anyone wanted to make this into a more spectacular specimen this is a possible front this is a nothing front because it's got no movement there and there's a collection of branches. Again, so the obverse side, this is also possible front because of the movement there. But because this is not my tree, I wouldn't do anything to it. And besides, if you just cut it back to nothing, you'll just end up with a stump. But those are the possibilities if you wanted a fine tree. But let me just discuss it with the owner and explain to him. So to emphasize and exploit the beautiful front, you would do this. So those branches on the back would be removed, so the tree would end up like this, and you would be just growing it for the beautiful trunk line. And we would forget all that back. 
So this is an interesting uh, critique of this tree, but because I think the owner likes it like this, we always respect the owner's uh, preferences. So I will just give it a light trim because it's getting clearly a bit too large. So we begin by taking some of these long shoots out. So it's very selective pruning, not too much. If you didn't do this, you will lose control of the tree completely. So I'm just shortening the twigs. Because you can keep doing this as the tree continues to grow. Keep it within bounds. In fact, it looks like a mighty oak tree. It's got an oak tree image. So you can always grow trees to create different types of images. So although it's a maple, you don't have to make it always look like a maple. I find that if it's your own tree, you're reluctant to pull. But it's by no means a radical pull. It's only a very light pull. There's still a lot of ramification there, but we've reduced the size of the tree quite a bit now. Going to the barbers, you know, you gotta ask them how much hair do you want to take off? You know, don't take off too much, you have to put it back. <laughs> but there you go, I think we've taken off enough, and this tree looks nice and fresh again. So the new pot should be about this sort of size to be in proportion to the size of the tree. So that is all the pulling I've done. So I hope the customer is happy, and then we proceed to repot. really pot power. Just that there are some ugly roots and if you want to improve the nibari, these are the roots you want to get rid of. This particular one is going the wrong direction, this we're going to cut off and that is going back in that direction which is bad. So we'll take these two out. That's a nice regular root. So that's the pot we've chosen. It's about four inches longer than the other pot. Because it's an oval, it doesn't look massive. But the proportions now are right. So we will proceed to pot it. So here we are, we've repotted this tree. We haven't done any drastic pruning. So this is the after shot in the new pot. And uh, I think it's a, an improvement. So there you go. I'll just take a still.